Hello, dear students. I'm so glad to be with you again. Uh, today we have grammar, unit six, lesson three. The subject is comparative adjectives with more. Uh, in the previous lessons, we talked about how to uh, form a comparative adjective by uh, ER. And uh, this time we make comparative adjectives with more. Comparative adjectives are used to compare two things or two people. We use more to form comparative adjectives for, from long adjectives. We use the word than after the adjectives. If the word, the adjectives, is, is a long adjective, more than uh, two syllables, we add, uh, we form the comparative adjective by adding more, not by adding er. Look at these examples. Expensive, more expensive. Expensive is uh, the adjective, and we add more before the adjective to make it a comparative adjective. Expensive, more adjective, more expensive. Sorry. iPhone is more expensive than Nokia. So we have the comparative adjective, more expensive, and we add the word than after the adjective in a sentence. Look at these examples. Beautiful, more beautiful. Colorful, more colorful. Difficult, more difficult. Exciting, more exciting. Interesting, more interesting. Unusual, more unusual. Useful, more useful. Uh, these uh, adjectives are, we call them long adjectives. We add more before them to make them comparative adjectives. Look at these examples in sentences. Pizza is more delicious than rice. We have the word delicious. We, we add more before delicious becomes comparative adjectives and we have the word than after the adjective. Pizza is more delicious than rice. Drinking lemonade in the morning is more useful than water. Again, we have uh, useful, the adjective, we, we add more before the adjective to become a uh, comparative adjective, and uh, we have the word than after the adjective. Reading a book is more interesting than listening to songs. Uh, we have another subject with comparative adjective is uh, which is how much uh, is or how much are or which one we use how much is or how much are to ask about the price of some something that we want to buy we use how much to ask about price and which one or which ones to choose one thing among the others with which one uh, to choose something um, among the other things. We can say, if you want to ask about the price of, of uh, something, we can say, how much is it, or how much is that, how much is this, or how much are these, how much are those. We, you know that is, is for uh, singular and R is for plural. We can say also how much does it cost? How much does it cost? Or how much do they cost? We can ask by these uh, in, by these four ways to ask about the, the price of something. Look at these examples. We have four scarves here. How much is this scarf? You are asking about one scarf. How much is this scarf? Which one? Which one? Uh, we use which one to choose some one of them between the others. The black one. The black one. And the price of black one is, 
it is five dollars it's five dollars or we can say it's five dollars uh, we use which one because scarf is singular we are talking about one scarf another example how much are these gloves how much are these gloves because gloves uh, is not singular it's plural we use are and we use which ones which ones the red ones they are 2000 dinars or we can say there are 2000 dinars in this way so because it's plural we use here uh, are and which ones not which one and we use they are another example how much do these earrings cost how much do these earrings cost which ones the small ones the small ones we say ones not one because we have a pair of earrings it's not one there are 10,000 dinars on there are 10,000 dinars let's read we use more to form comparative adjectives from uh, long adjectives and use the word than after the adjective uh, examples about comparative adjectives expensive more expensive uh, sentence examples like this exam is more difficult than the other ones we use how much is or how much are to ask about the price of something that we want to buy and which one or which ones to choose one thing among the others uh, this is uh, today's lesson and uh, thank you for watching and listening. I hope that you are all doing well. Thank you very much. Goodbye.